What is good, creatives? TJ again from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel. I am your host today, and I received this question from one of my subscribers that how do you know if you have too much white space on your project, and how do you know how to manage white space well on your design project? I'm sure you're going to enjoy this tutorial. Now, sit back, relax, <laughs> keep watching. All right, I have this design I quickly created to explain my point here. So let's get to uh, my Photoshop application here. So one, this is one of the examples of um, the use of too much white space. All right. Now, um, you know, the use of white space in graphic design is more like the way we set trap. All right. The way we set trap in um, design. All right. So if you look at this design here, I have uh, this, uh, you know, use of white space here. And we also have a white space here, white space here, and white space here. Now, this is too much, all right? Now, too much of everything is not good in graphic design. You only do this when the information on the project calls for it, or you are trying to create a pattern. Now, let's go back to the purpose of this tutorial. Too much of white space is not good. Now, let's go straight to the other design, all right? Now, look at this. This is another example of the use of too much white space. There's too much white space here, there's white space here, there's white space here, and then this white space around here. Now, I want you guys to see the use of white space the way we set a trap for mouse. You make the information that you want people to see fast and easily on your project on that area where there's enough room, all right, for the content to beat or for that information to beat. Toof. So let's go straight to the um, the design that the the design with the good use of white space here. So I have this very first one here, which is this. Now um, the reason why this is successful and the use of white space here is balanced is because um, you know we have all this information uh, overlapping on each other, and then we have them bold. And then look at this: the parts where we now have information with small size we decided to give it room to break look at this all right so whenever you're trying whenever you're working on design project and you want to use white space to um, help your project look successful see how you can move elements close next to each other and then place that information that you want people to see fast and easily on the project on one side of the project or on the area where there's enough white space around uh that information all right now most time how i do this well in my design project is i use the i use proximity to do this on my project where i move elements that i um i make big close to each other then the information that i notice that is small i just place it one on one side of the project and then allow enough room all right enough white space around this so people can easily see that information on my project i'm sure you're enjoying this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button because i'm going to be posting more of um tutorials like this on my channel so in order for you not to miss it remember to check the post notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload any of my tutorial all right now if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and if there's anything you still want to learn from me kindly drop it in the comment section i'll try my best to do a video on answering your questions so let's go straight to uh, the second design here this is another good option of the good way to use white space now look at this the same similar process is what i applied here which is you know we have this white space here all right we have another white space here there's an another white space here and look at this there's another small white space here that allow us to see this information here easily. Now, because I know that the social media uh, handle is going to be smaller, I decided to place it here where there's nothing close to it so my viewers can see it fast and easy. Toof! Bold type or bold element most time, they draw attention fast. But when you now place something small, when you place small element, close to it it's going to be difficult for people to see so how you help your viewers to see those small elements all right small elements on your project is to allow white space so that people can 
um, have the chance or the opportunity to see that small information on the project. Poof! You know, another good way, uh, another advantage of us having white space on our project is to um, create what I call rest, helping our viewers to rest when they are accessing the information on our design. All right, because look at this. We have all this information, this bold here. All right, we have this looking, this, you know, bold. And like I said, bold elements draws attention fast. So when people see this, how you help them to see this information here is the use of white space. Poof. All right. Now, listen, the design is your world. All right. You have the power to uh, place the elements the way you think is best for the design. And another thing I want you to know where, you know, using white space well on your design is concerned is it helps you with not uh, making the information on your project have too much size like everything is looking too big you know i've he i've seen so many projects from designers where uh the designer decided to make everything big because it feels every information on the project is important now it's true every information on the project is important but the use of white space it help is what help making every information on the project visible but when you now make everything bold on your project nothing is going to be important on the project because nothing is going to draw attention on your project so the use of white space help with um help making your viewers navigate through every information on your project easily and sweet all right and that's the reason why these two design that i showed you guys here all right these two design that i show you here that's the reason why they look successful that's the reason why they do so, so find way to make white space um uh make the small information on your project visible all right remember what i said previously that the bold information on your project draws attention fast but the use of white space is what help the small elements on your project visible and avoid making small elements too close to the big elements on your project now there are times where you need to do this on the design project now you only do this when the information on the design you know calls for it because you know graphic design is funny there are times where you know what the law you are not supposed to uh go against is what will help the success of the project so take your time to understand the project take your time to see how you can arrange the elements to um make your viewers find it easy to access or navigate through every information on the project but make sure you don't have too much white space on the project so take this my short advice here to achieve using white space the right way so your viewers and your clients can find it easy to navigate through every information on your project all right I'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial all right how did it go did you learn something if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post any of my tutorials share like and comment on this video and i'll see you in the next one peace